Hi guys, welcome back. Today I thought I would share with you my skincare routine. I want to throw in a few disclaimers. What I filmed is like the most decadent my skincare routine ever is. So the only time that I'd ever really use all of those products is probably when I'm really giving my skin a good pamper. Um, day to day I tend to use a lot of those products but not all sort of at once. So uh, use your imagination. Sometimes I can't be bothered to put on three serum-like products, but you know, sometimes I can. Also, this is a nighttime skincare routine. I've got to be honest with you, my morning skincare routine is more or less non-existent because I'm lazy and crap in the mornings, so that's why I put all the legwork in in the evenings, but um, a lot of these products aren't specifically night products, so you could probably use them in the morning too, but I tend to just, you know, bioderma it and if I'm lucky, put some moisturizer on too in the morning. But anyway, with all that mumbo jumbo out of the way, let's crack on. First stop is my poorly lit bathroom. Don't worry, we won't be in here for all that long. And I'm popping on my face the Amora Vitsa Thermal Cleansing Balm, which is, as you can see, a gray color. It's not necessarily a cream consistency. I'm trying to think of something to liken it to and I can't, but um, I really do like this cleanser balm. I know it's more on the expensive side, but I definitely think it works. I also take my cognac sponge and I tend to buff the product in slash wipe it off at the same time. And as you can see, I have no qualms about putting this one in my eyes. It doesn't irritate them at all. Um, but yeah, I also really do like the cognac sponge as well. I've got a blog post on actually both of these products, so I'll link those down below. Here's me showing off my cotton pads. I actually really like the Delon Plus ones. You can get them from Costco. Um, I find they have like a netting on them that just really gets your makeup off. And I know I've just cleansed, but I do like to just go over with a bit of Bioderma. I love that stuff. Um, and yeah, I also take it down the neck and behind the ears as well because it just feels nice to clean behind your ears. Sounds gross, but it's true. And I don't know if you can see there, that's some of the gross stuff that I got off. If I was feeling particularly lazy that evening, I would just use Alpha Gold. Um, it works better if you don't put a moisturiser on with it. I'm also spraying my face with Cerazinc, which is a spray toner by La Roche-Posay. And as you can see, I like to fan my face a little bit to just help it dry. Um, that's a spray toner that works really well for acne prone skin. I've actually got back into using Hydroluron. If you've never heard of this product before, it's basically a pre-serum moisturiser booster, for what of a better word. I don't really understand the science behind it, but I do find that my skin is a lot softer when I do use it. So I've gotten back into using that. And next up is my serum. This is the Parsi Seed Antioxidant Serum from Aesop. Um, the only complaints I've heard about this serum is that it's a bit sticky, which I do have to agree with, but I'll show you what I use to combat that after. But I do really like the serum. I just think it's a really great day or night just does the job serum and as you can see I like to sort of um, pop it in the palm of my hands and press it into the skin and down my neck and then also from Aesop I have a spot cream obviously I use this as and when this is actually a bit more of a gel um, and this is called control oh Aesop you're so kitsch along with most spot treatments I'm unsure as to whether it actually works or if that's how my skin was going to play out anyway but I put my faith with them and dot them on as and where I need them. I've also got an eye cream here, this is the Origins Ginseng eye cream. Um, I can take a leave this, as I said this is a nighttime routine and I think this is more suited to daytime but I'm not actually all that crazy on it so I mean I'll take a leave it so I, to be honest I'm just trying to use it up so there's me popping it underneath my eye and onto my orbital bone. And then onto one of those famed products, La Roche-Posay's Effaclad Duo. This I find really works well with the Aesop serum that I use. And as I said, it can be a little bit tacky on the skin. It makes it smoother than it would be on its own. I just think they work well together. And again, this is sort of a kind of spot treatment slash cream. Um, I think in the US you can't use the Effaclad Duo they sell all over the face. That's more for targeted areas. Whereas the one in the EU, you can use all over your face, no problem. So that's what I'm doing. And last but not least, I use a moisturiser. This is the Clinique Dramatically Different Gel. They also do a lotion which is more suited to drier skin types, but as I have combination oily skin, I tend to use this one. And I, again, really like the way that it feels and the tub that I've got is gonna last me an absolute lifetime because I use maybe two pumps of it and it does my entire face and neck, no worries. 
I hope you enjoyed my skincare routine. If I've done any full blown reviews of any of the products, I will leave them down below for you to have a peruse. And I think that's everything from me. Thank you so much for watching and I shall see you guys soon. Bye.